The lights are on, but nobody's home. They are allowed to open, but it's not open tonight because the health rules are so restrictive. This tiny independent theater just can't make the numbers work, but others are finding a way. It's been a little hectic, but um, just just to be able to open the doors again, make popcorn, it's, it's a really, really good day. Across New York State, movie theaters are welcoming back film lovers. The rules, 25% max capacity, no more than 50 people per screen, assigned seating, social distancing, advanced air filtration, and more staff to monitor behavior. A little bit of trial and error, but I think we've got it down to a science now. With coronavirus infections rising across the country and a shortage of new Hollywood blockbusters on offer. That's the whole point of Thanksgiving, Molly. Theaters nationwide are struggling. They're trying to innovate, launching drive-ins or private screening parties where you rent the whole theater. AMC, though, is warning a bankruptcy is looming unless it gets more cash and soon. Regal Cinemas closed down its 536 theaters around the country earlier this month though it plans to reopen its New York facilities. And the small independent theaters, 70% say they'll fold without financial assistance from the government. If you are open, you know, you're, you're probably losing money. And if you're closed, you're definitely losing money. And so it's a decision, how much money are you gonna lose? Well, in a dozen counties, they can't open at all because they have coronavirus hotspots. Here at the Orpheum, they tell me they barely turn a profit in good times with only two or three people manning the theater. And they can't afford more staff or a fancy upgrade to the air filtration. They can't afford computerized reservation systems to assign the seating or new cashless payments. So for now, the theater stays closed. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.